Hello everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Nacho Moya. I'm the artist and owner of Moya Art Gallery and Studio, everybody. Uh, today we're gonna be painting El Charo. El Charo is a nice, beautiful painting uh, that represents Dia de los Muertos uh, and my heritage uh, traditions and culture. So we're gonna be doing this one here, super cool. I like it. It's one of my favorite paintings here. Um, we're gonna be doing this today. It's gonna be awesome. Remember, relax, don't stress, do your best. Everybody just have a good time. We're gonna do, we're gonna use a lot of different colors here. We're gonna use purple. I'm gonna show you the, the um, colors that we need. We need some purple here. I'm gonna put it close up. We need some blue, purple, teal, pink, uh, red, yellow, and some of these kind of like uh, brown. It's more like golden brown for the hat. That's what we're gonna be doing. Um, all right, so this is what we're gonna do here. Very simple step, we're just gonna have fun, okay, so everybody? So get ready with these supplies because I have three brushes that we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna show you here the three brushes I need. Make sure you get a cup of water and also a napkin for uh, for your brushes. So whenever you clean them, use the brushes or dry the water, okay? Okay, so I use three brushes. I use uh, uh, three quarter inch, you know, uh, brush or one inch too. A skinny, really skinny brush uh, to do the outline, and we do the medium brush to do all the details there. All right, everybody, so let's get going with this class real quick. Uh, I'm gonna use the skinny brush to sketch my uh, charro here, okay? My sugar skull, charro, mi dia de los muertos, charro here. So that's gonna be very simple, everyone. So what we're gonna do here, it's gonna be very, very simple, everyone. I don't want you to stress. Remember, their life don't stress to you best. And this is something that we're gonna do super simple here. Um, very, very simple. We're gonna create this shape here first. All right, this is gonna be very simple. We're gonna create just one line. All right, just one line here, right in the middle here. Um, I know uh, some of you already uh, bought some of these uh, paint kits with pre-sketch. Uh, the only thing you gotta do, if you bought the pre-sketch canvas, uh, you only got to do is just sketch everything in pencil with the skinny brush and black. That's all you got to do. But if you don't have the paint kit, so you can follow my steps here, okay? So let's do it. I'm going to dip my brush in the water, get black color, and just make just one line here. Just want to make one line right here. I'm going to make it so like angle. It doesn't have to be flat straight. So I'm going to make it more like a smile to the side. Of. One little line. Just like that, all right? Just a very simple step, just that line right there. Just wanna get more water on my brush because I think it, it needs more, okay? So very simple step, just like that. Just one little line like that, all right? So as soon as you do that, make sure you go up and go like a letter S, little snake here. From this point, I'm gonna go up, make this little snake like this. I'm gonna put it close up. Okay, I, I don't know, the light, it's not working. Let me put the light a little, um, not too bright, okay? Okay, I think it works like that with not too much light, okay? There you go, something like that, okay? So we did that step, okay? So we're gonna do the next step and the other side too. So we're gonna go up again and go to the side and make this little curved side little curvy line okay just like that those two sides for now this is very simple step remember just relax don't stress do your best and this is what we're gonna do first the top and then we do the bottom part okay so that's what we're gonna do the top all right just the top so when you do that real quick so get the brush again with black the only thing we got to do here just kind of finish this little bump here a little bump here, go to the side, just like that. It's looking more like a um, flower pot or something, <laughs> like pottery <laughs> to me. Okay, so let's do this. Now, what we're gonna do in this area, we're gonna do again, we're gonna go around and connect it to the other side, okay? So ready, go. So let's get, let's get going. I wanna get here with this one. 
get again black paint. And what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna go around from this area and connect it all the way down here. But we're not gonna connect it all the way. We're gonna connect it all the way here, okay? Um, it's not gonna go and connect it with these points. So we're gonna go past that and connect that one like that. All right? That's the way I like it. It's super nice, you know? Just create again this part here, just like that, okay? That's the way we're creating our uh, skull, okay? The face, okay? So let's get going with the next step. The next step is gonna be super simple, everybody. Super simple. We're just gonna create like a little, we're gonna create the jaw, okay? It's gonna be super simple. Just make these connections from this area around like that, okay? Let's do it. Let's go, let's go and do that one. And put the volume a little lower. All right, so just like that. From this area here, we're just gonna go down. Okay, we're gonna make a little, um, you can do a little, um, the chin a little bit wavy here. Like a, It doesn't have to be flat. Just do it like that. Very simple step. Just do it like that. Very, very simple. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just like that. Okay? So now what we're gonna do here, very simple, when you create that, uh, what we're gonna do is just create the teeth. And it's very simple. Right in here in the middle, that's where we're gonna start doing the teeth, okay? Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can do as many you want, okay? So I'm gonna add a little more. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 12. Okay, so you can do more. One, two, three, on the bottom. All right, just like that, just going. It's looking good, it's looking good, okay? All right. So leave it like that for now, just do those teeth. And after that, we're gonna do the eyes and the nose. So the nose is super simple. I will go first with the eyes first before we do the nose. I like to do the eyes first. Let's go do the eyes real quick. The eyes are gonna be just a circle here. It doesn't have to be really, really circle. We can just do, um, we can do more of, more kind of like a shape of, a empanada or something <laughs> on some type of food, anything. But I want you guys to just leave it more, uh, not too round, okay? So if you wanna do a round, it's okay. So I wanna start just making this shape, okay? Okay, just like that, very simple step, just like that. Um, I recommend you guys, if you guys wanna paint it already in black, you can just paint inside in black. I'm gonna get a little more paint so I can paint the inside and black already. So I wanna make sure this black here inside is taken care of before we move for the next steps. Just like this. Yeah, there you go. There you go, there you go. There you go. There you go, just like that. So I'm gonna go for the next step. The next step is going to be the same eye. There you go. Just adding a little bit of black in there. Okay. There you go. Easy. Just like that. It's looking like it's cold, right? <laughs> it's looking great. All right. So the next step, what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the nose. I tell people, I recommend people to create an, uh, an um, heart upside down. A heart upside down will lay, give us the shape of the nose, okay? Very simple step. Just create a heart upside down right in between here. There you go. And just, just put the color in in black. Just ready to go. We almost done. Let's catching this beautiful piece um out so let me know how you guys doing how's everything going i hope you guys doing great and have a great time here okay 
I would say, okay, so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna do another step. Uh, we're gonna create the hat, and then we're gonna do the neck and the rest, okay? So first, uh, we're gonna do the hat. And remember, everything um, has to uh, be more um, simple. It's not that hard, to be honest. Uh, we just go with the flow, have fun, relax, don't stress, do your best, okay? So that's the point when I teach my classes, for us to have a great time, and never give up and just have fun. That's the most important thing. So, okay, so we're gonna do something very simple here. First on the top, I'm gonna create this line going from this to this uh, this area. All right, you put black, you can do pencil. If you got the chance to use the pencil, do with pencil first, and then you can do with paint, okay? So, but I would recommend you guys to use the pencil if you like. So you don't have to worry about these black lines. <laughs> All right. So we're doing that line and we're doing a little mountain here. A little bump. Like that. It looks like a little tiny hat. But when we add those two lines in the bottom, it's going to make a difference. Because it's looking good now. It's looking great. So very simple step. What we're going to do here is just to do the part here on the bottom it's gonna be just like in between uh, in the middle of the the jaw okay so just gonna create this line here on the bottom one i'm gonna continue the line to the other side two just like that it looks already like just um the charro with the hat already just adding those two lines it's looking great it's looking awesome uh, and i can't wait to to do the next step. So the next step will be the neck, more the bones here in the neck. And we're gonna create uh, part of the, the the bandana here and everything. So let's do that first, okay? Let's do this really simple step about the neck. Remember, we're still using the paint, the small brush, the black paint, and you can use um, also pencil if you like, okay? So let's create the, this part here. We're gonna create three letter use I could say that one here in the neck, one, two, three. Okay, just did three, all right? Just did three. And and I am here in this area. We're gonna create like a letter C as a cow, one. Or we can just do a parenthesis together here and make sure you paint this area in black. Just black because this is part of the bandana. We, I'm gonna show you right now. It looks like he's inside a hole or anything. But I'm gonna show you here. Um, and then now, what we're gonna do here, very simple step, just gonna make a little circle here. You can make it round or, or not round, not too round. Just a little circle there. So we're gonna connect this area to the other area, okay? So, let me know whenever you're ready, because I know you're ready. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are having a great time, because I know every time I do these classes, you just always have just a great time and such an amazing time. All right, so let's do this. Hold on, give me a second. Let me, okay, that's fine. Okay, I was gonna switch, I like the song, but I, I, I think I already played it earlier. <laughs> I wanna skip it, but it's okay, don't worry. Let's, let's keep going with that. So let's keep doing this art piece here. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna connect these two lines here, okay? I'm gonna show you. From here, we're just gonna go around, okay? So from this area, we're just gonna go around like this, connect it with a little circle there. And the same thing with this here. Just go around like that. All right, just like that. That's part of the bandana right there, everybody. So just very simple step, just creating like that. Um, and then what we're gonna do next, just after that, we're just gonna create the two little part of the bandana, this here. You can just do one little line here and one like kind of going to the side. However you guys wanna do this, honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just go with the flow, just have fun. Oh, even though you can just make it more this way, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect. Just like this. Very simple step, beautiful. 
All right, so the only thing we gotta do is just the shoulders. And after the shoulders, we're ready to start painting the background. That's really awesome. Painting the background just like this. One, two, just like that. Just all, those are the shoulders. And then I'm ready to start painting my beautiful background. And for the background, we're gonna be using a different type of brush. We're gonna use a bigger brush. Uh, you can use a small one too, a medium brush but it's okay to use also the big one. So that way we can blend things here good. Uh, we use using uh, blue color first, and then after blue, we're gonna use um, blue and pink together to make this purple. Oh, can, you can use purple too, mixing it up with a little pink. But I would say if I use blue and pink together, it's gonna make help me make that pink uh, purple as well. Okay, so let me get my big brush. I already have my big brush to start painting the background. So let's go and do the background. Everybody, let's go ahead and do the background. All right, the background is going to be blue first. I'm gonna start painting blue on the top. So I'm gonna just grab the blue color big brush and a little bit of water. Um, remember, just keep your brush a little moist, uh, a little wet, so that way it's easier for you to spread the paint around. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Uh, just start painting the background with this brush and blue color. There you go, it's just like this. Beautiful, Start like that. There you go. Beautiful, just like this. Amazing. There you go, just like that. Just a little bit of blue. If you think it's too just light, you can also mix with purple actually. You can also a little bit of purple on your brush to mix it up a little bit. I think that's why it looks, that one looks like that because I'm add a little purple here. And that's why, check it out. It looks the, now the same, a little darker because I add a little purple, blue and purple together. There you go. There you go, beautiful. Just like that. Just leave it like that, very simple step. And then the same thing we're gonna be doing this here. Uh, we're just gonna be creating uh, the purple here on the bottom, okay? So, let's keep going with this one here. Um, just want you guys to finish that so we can do the bottom part here. The bottom part is gonna be super simple and easy, everyone. Okay, remember, relax, don't stress, do your best. And remember, always stay positive. Just have fun, relax, don't stress, and do your best because uh, having fun is the... Is the most important thing here, you know, um, think, making things perfect. Um, it's not, it's not what I focus. I focus more just having a great time. And when you have a great time, you do things right. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do this, the purple. Remember I mix a little bit of purple and, and blue. So I'm going to keep going with a little purple here and pink and blue together, just like this. Right. That's the way it started going, you know, just like that on the side. This area too. There you go. Little purple and and that color. And when you do that, you gotta mix the pink color. Uh, just leave it like that. Don't let it dry because if you let it dry, it's gonna be hard to blend. So make sure don't let it dry and just get a little bit mixed purple, uh, pink. I mean, on your brush. Even though you still have purple and blue, it's okay. I really like when you mix it, you don't have to clean your brush. You just grab the, the paint and start blending the color there, okay? Just blend the color. Just like that, with pink. Just blend it, okay? Just blend it, don't let it dry because if you let it dry, it's gonna change, okay? It's gonna be hard. You have to go add more blue and purple to make a blend. So that's what I'm doing, just adding uh, that pink mix, blend it with the pur pur purple and blue, just like that. See, there you go. There you go, beautiful, right? This is so beautiful getting, you can also paint the edges if you like, uh, you're welcome to do it. Look, I've just did the edges. You can do that as well. I'm gonna do a little bit here. All right, just like that. 
looks beautiful. The bathroom is already done, everybody. Not done yet, because we're gonna do a couple little marigold little petals here later, but for now, we're gonna let it dry, and we're gonna focus, focus on the hat, and the hat is going to be super cool and easy. We're just gonna clean our brush before we start painting the face, but first, we gotta do our hat, and we're gonna do uh, use, we're gonna use uh, the brown color that I show you. Uh, the color, if you're looking for the color you want for the hat, it's named Raw Sienna. Uh, raw Sienna is the is the color. Raw Sienna, you can also use Liquitex, this kind of brand for that color. I think that's the only brand I, I, I found this color, only this brand. I haven't found any in any other brands, but this one here. Um, so, all right, so let's get going. I cleaned my brush already with that. Get a little bit of water and get that color, get that brown color. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Really, really simple step, okay? Okay, give me a second. I think the light went off. Okay, ready to go. Fix it. Hopefully it's turned, okay, there you go. So what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna use that and then start painting the hat in that color, okay? Beautifully. So nice, just doing that very simple step. And remember, relax, don't stress, do your best. All right, just like that. There you go. There you go, just adding that color. Beautiful. I'm gonna get, put it close up here so that way you can see better. All right, just put it see a little better. All right, so I'm gonna keep going with the this brown just go around like that it doesn't have to be this brown actually you can paint it any color you want okay um any color you want i'm just gonna do this real quick just this part here with the brown just adding that uh with the raw sienna color just keep adding that here There you go, just gonna get more paint. There you go. There you go. Just keep going. I know this is not, this is gonna take a little longer with the, with doing the hat because it's a, a big part of the painting. Okay, just a big part of the painting here. It's okay, don't worry about it. Just have fun, relax, don't stress. Do your best, okay? <laughs> uh, we're doing this here real quick. We're just gonna be doing the top two. Just paint the whole thing here on the top. There you go. It doesn't have to be perfect, just like that. There you go. One thing I really wanna show you how to do this, we're gonna do yellow color and remember, I'm leaving these gaps, these paces here, I mean. Uh, we're gonna mix blend it with yellow to make it lighter, okay? So if I get a little yellow, just blend it together, okay? And just blend it together, make it a little lighter. There you go, mixing a little yellow there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Little yellow there, looks super cool when I added yellow there. I'm gonna add a little more yellow in this area. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Nice. All right, so I'm already done with that. But I, I don't know if you notice here, there is a little bit of dark in that area there. It's darker. So what I would do is just kind of clean my brush real quick. I'll clean my brush because we are going to mix the brown with a little bit of black. So make the shading there. And then it's okay if it's still wet because it makes, uh, it works better because you blend it better, okay? So let me show you. If I get the same brush, okay? Same brush, the little color here, it's just a little bit of black. It's a little bit of black there. We're gonna do, turn this dark brown, okay? This is the only thing we gotta do is just, I'm gonna start with the top here, just in the middle on the top. Just add a little bit there. It doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Just the middle part. 
you know it doesn't have to be the full thing just a little part right there and then we're gonna create a little bit here in the middle okay okay just like that just with a little bit of black just a little bit of black we don't need a lot of black because i think we add too much black it's gonna turn uh uh, it's not gonna give this blending. Uh, it's gonna look more like black and then we don't want that We're gonna make sure it blends with the brown. Okay, so a little more brown a little more black a little bit a little bit of black And I'm just gonna go do this a little darker And go around, okay Just like that Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so I'm telling you my painting is not gonna look the same as this one here. Uh, they're all different. Even though I repeat these many times, it's not gonna look the same. It's gonna look uh, different, but unique, everybody, okay? So let's keep going that. I'm gonna think it's just fine. And I'm not gonna worry about making it to look exactly the same as the other one. Honestly, I'm not gonna do it because that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for to just to be creative make it look similar but not the same okay so all right so we did the hat already um so we gotta do design later when everything's dry so there's more more little things that we're gonna add but for now we're doing great we're doing great doing these um steps so i'm gonna just like clean my brush because we're gonna use a different brush and start doing a couple a little bit of purple and uh this cold this cold face uh okay so what we're gonna do here we're gonna use the medium brush the medium brush this is the brush that we're using for the next step and we're gonna use purple color but the thing here to to the tip here or the trick is to make this purple more uh liquid more watery than just uh the paint okay so i'm gonna make sure i add more water in my brush okay a little more water and just a little bit of purple make sure it's really see-through i want this purple to be really see-through, more like water, okay? So that's that's what I, that's my thing, you know? That's the trick, just to make it like that. And this is what we're gonna do with that brush. We're just gonna go around here, this area. Like this, really simple. Just go like that. Remember, it, less, it has to be more like watery, you know? More water, then more water. It's kind of painting with the dirty water almost, you know? Uh, and I'm gonna create a little purple here. Okay, just around. And also you can do around the teeth, like this, one, two, three, four. Just go like this, also. And it doesn't have to be so thick, you can just do a little bit, a little thinner. Okay, like this. Make sure you add a little bit of um a little bit of here in the eyes i would say just one side okay one side in this area okay just one side in one area let me show you just like this and you don't have to go all the way around so i'm gonna do the same thing in the other side just like that and it's looking great already like that and the nose you can just do the heart around too all right check it out just go like that with purple when you add this purple color, it makes it look, make it look so good, so great. I really like that way it looks. Uh, you can do the neck too. Don't forget about the neck. The neck, that's super simple that we're gonna do. Very simple, just create the, in the lines, just get a little purple there. That's all you need to do. Just add a little purple there. Little shading there, it's okay. Just have fun, relax, don't stress, do your best, remember. Um, always, always relax, okay? So, so far we're doing great. We're doing great. We're gonna leave um, the design and the face last because we're waiting to uh, to the purple to dry and we're waiting also to the hat to dry to make more designs. Uh, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna work on the bandana and red color and it's gonna be very simple. Use the same brush, you just need to clean it. All right, you just need to clean this here real quick uh, and use red color. I'm gonna grab red color and I wanna do this real quick. I'm gonna show you first the way we do, I do it before I just paint red. Uh, first I paint red, I mean, first I just paint the red 
bandana, right? You can paint it pink, you can paint it teal, any color you want, okay? Um, any color you want, let's see. You can paint it blue, purple, pink. So I'm gonna create that and then this part over here. Remember to add water on your brush as well. So make it easier for you to spread the paint, okay? All right, just like this. There you go. Just adding these colors here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Just like that, just the bandana in red. I'm gonna show you how to do the shading right now. Uh, very, very, very simple, okay? All right, so you guys ready to do the next step? The next step, you already painted in black and the black and red. You got it, you already did in red. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna mix a little black. Kind of the same thing we did in the hat. We're gonna mix a little black so we can make some little um, shading. So I got a little black on my brush with red, okay? You don't have to just, you don't clean the brush. You just get uh, black. And this is what you're gonna do here, just the little shading with black and red, just add a little there, blend it one side to in the other side. Just blend the red and black together. So make sure you get that little shading there. Um, and you can also do a little bit here and then the bottom part. So like a little bit of black and red together to make that shading there. It looks nice, it looks super cool. Uh, just like that. There you go like that and then uh, now after this I want to clean my brush because I want to do use another color and it's gonna be black I just need to clean my brush I don't want my brush to have a lot of red so my shirt is gonna look like burgundy so I want my shirt looks uh, black you can do it leave it black white even though white looks super cool uh, I leave in the white shirt too I really like it too but I'm gonna do the same thing as this one uh, and black so the only thing you got to do is just grab the brush get black color okay just get black color and then start doing this in black very simple step okay just some black there you go you I have a little space in between here so I'm gonna do it black too okay so let's do it in black and negro Akeem there you go there you go, just some black, real quick. There you go. Just adding that here. The black, we almost done with the shirt. After we're done with the shirt, we are going to do something fun that we're gonna be creating the little designs on our skull, on sugar skull, that's what we're gonna be doing. A very simple step, okay? This is gonna be super cool, so super, super, super cool. Uh, and we're gonna be doing this. Very simple step. We're gonna just let it dry a little bit. Um, if you guys wanna get something to drink, anything, um, go take a little break. You can pause this video too. Um, I know you guys are gonna be replaying this video too, but uh, you can pause it and then go get something to drink, okay? So let's get going with this top part over here. We just gonna go and do use the skinny brush and you can get any color for the teal, or it could be teal or any other color, okay? So I'm gonna use the teal again. Um, I'm gonna use the teal and create these little pebbles or circles. You can do little shapes like that. So I'm gonna get going and start doing, going from this part all the way around all the way here, okay? So I'm gonna do one, two. It looks, they look more like a little leaves, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go three, four. And they don't have to be perfect, to be honest. They don't have to be perfect. I think I need one more. Just like that, okay? It's just very simple step. Let me tell you, you don't have to, you can also do one little brush like that. If you wanna just do it like this, one, 
very simple. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. It, it, you know, honestly, it doesn't have to be so perfect. Uh, I really like going with the flow. Have fun, relax, don't stress. Do your best. And don't worry about that mess, okay? So don't worry about the mess. Just go for it. Have fun. Just relax. Don't stress. Do your best. Just clean my brush real quick. Real quick. I just clean my brush. And that's something we got to do super, super simple. Is create these little eyebrows. Kind of make it this design on top. And I'm going to use blue color. You can use any other color for that. So I'm going to use blue color and just grab my skinny brush and get blue color and when I create this part of the eyes. From here, just go like this. If you don't have room there, that's fine. But I'm just creating these little eyebrows kind of looking there. You can add a little mustache here, un bigote. Si quieren ustedes, it's okay, don't worry about it. Just want you guys to have fun, be creative and enjoy it. Um, and then I want to create three little lines here or four, however you want in the middle to make another little design with orange color. So the way we make orange, we mix three co two colors. That is red and yellow. Okay. I'm going to mix a little red, a little yellow, make the orange color. I'm going to get a little more yellow uh, to make the orange. And very simple step we got to do here. Very simple step. After we create the eyebrows here, we're just going to create three little lines here make sure you you push and let it go like this down one more time one push let it go down like this and again push let it go down like that those little three you can do four if you like okay oh I started the other way okay push a little down like this okay that's fine don't worry about it just like that doesn't have to be perfect okay Clean my brush again. So I'm gonna use a different color to create uh, the little green part here on the uh, on, uh, on the sides. Okay, you can do little leaves there. Uh, you can create any other design. It doesn't have to be the design I created. Always go with the flow, have fun, relax, don't stress, do your best. All right, so let's get going with this one. Uh, I have green. If you don't have green color, you can also mix two colors, blue and yellow. So you make that green color uh, but I have a little green here, so I can use my little green that I have here. But remember, if you don't have green, mix yellow and blue. Okay. So I'm going to get the, uh, the green color here a little bit. Make sure if it's too dark, add a, little, add a little bit of yellow to make a little lighter. Okay. This is what I'm going to do real quick here on the cheekbones. I'm just going to go here. Make a little line down like that. The same thing in the other side. All right, just from here, going up and down, up and down. And the only thing we gotta do, you can just make a little bit of squirrel there, here, down, or up, however you want. This one have it more up, but this one I, I did it more down. All right, so the only thing we gotta do is just add a little leaves here in the sides. One little leaf there, one little leaf on this side, one little leaf here, one little leaf in this other side. Just like that. Just so simple, so beautiful. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. I want you guys to just enjoy it, have fun, relax, don't stress, do your best, and don't worry about the mess. Just have fun, enjoy your loved ones at home, enjoy your parents, enjoy your son, your daughter, and enjoy your husband, everybody, everybody's around you, and enjoy uh, and make memories uh, during these difficult times and and uh, what's going on around. So um, I'm ready to do the little flower here in the bottom. It's gonna be very simple step to do the the flower. Honestly, the only thing we need is yellow color with the same skinny brush, a little bit of skinny brush and yellow. We're just gonna make a little bit of little half moon, a little circle here, half a circle, right? Just like that. So when you finish that, just use red. Use the red color 
and start creating the little petals here. I'm gonna start by creating one here. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, just like that. Very simple step. You know, this one kind of looks, um, needs to get fixed a little, okay? Oh, I, I'm gonna add another one here. You see, adding another one and make it more complete, right? <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect, check it out. All right. Okay, let me work the slide again. Take a step on the thing here. There you go, fix it. <laughs> All right, so we got this already. So now what we're gonna do, very simple step, we're just gonna work on the designs on the hat. Um, I would prefer using more like the medium size to do the design on the top. I wanna make sure I rinse my brush and clean it so there's no more um, paint on my brush so I can create the top over here, okay? So with the teal color, this is the only thing I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do this real quick. Just a little zigzag design on the hat. I know my hat is already dry. Just a little zigzag here to make it look super cool. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfect. I think the other one I made it a little smaller and thinner, but it doesn't have to be the same, okay? Same step in the bottom part here. So a little one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Little six arc design, one, two, three, four, five. There you go, looking great, right? <laughs> uh, uh, now, very simple still, you gotta clean your brush. After you do the six arc, we have to clean our brush real quick. So we do, we're gonna do a couple of steps here, the last steps here, creating uh, the little uh, petals here with orange color. Uh, the only thing we gotta use is gonna use two colors here. We gotta mix this color. Here. Very simple step. Uh, just clean my brush because it had teal color. Make sure it's clean. Let me double check. All right, it's clean. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna get red color and yellow, right? Red and yellow together and make that orange. Okay. Again, real red, little orange, little yellow. So what we're gonna do here? Very simple step. We're just gonna use the same brush, just creating kind of little petals, one, two, three, and, and they don't have to be perfect, four, five, six. Just like that, with yellow and red, remember? I'm gonna add a couple, a few more here on top, one, two, three. Okay. Couple here. If you think they're too dark, you can add a little more yellow, and maybe a tiny bit of white. So a little highlight if you like. A little highlight there. If you wanna add these little highlights on your petals here with yellow. A little yellow there. All right. There you go. And then the only thing we gotta do now is just with the uh, same yellow color, just add a little bit of white. We're just gonna do a little highlight, one highlight on one side here, and one highlight on the other side. Like this. And two highlights on each side here. I need to use white on that one. More white, okay. So a little highlight and white and just like that. Ready, go. Very, very simple. Very simple step. Just gonna clean my brush. And then I think this is a beautiful masterpiece for everybody, especially celebrating uh, Dia de los Muertos uh, this November 2nd. Um, in October, I think we all celebrate we uh, Dia de los Muertos in October and November. Uh, we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and also our traditions um, but let's just check it out. It's looking great, everybody. It looks awesome to me. Uh, I think I did an amazing job, <laughs> right? <laughs> you can add a little more black if you guys want to add more black, more outline and black. Go for it. 
Don't worry about it. You go with the flow. Remember, do whatever you want. Uh, just can you add more black here if you like. You can go back again and do black outline too, okay? Don't worry about it. You can just do it again and black. Okay, the only thing you got to do now is, is just to um, clean your brush and sign it. I'm going to sign it here, Nacho Moya. Really good, just like that. Nacho, I just only add my name Nacho here. 2021, so that way I know the date, the year, um, and everything. So let me show you the way it looks now. My charro school here, ready for you. And I can't wait for you guys to share your paintings with your loved ones. And remember, be proud of it. Just be proud of it. Uh, all the time be proud of what you do and inspire other people. Okay, so I want you guys to do that for me inspire others motivate others with this art class Okay, thank you so much for supporting this class Thank you so much for supporting Moya Art Gallery Studio and myself here Nacho Moya the artist and owner of Moya Art Gallery Studio I want to say thank you again Enjoy your day uh, and thanks again for supporting uh, this class Okay, stay safe and healthy, everybody, and God bless you. I'll see you guys for the next class.